everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I have a yearly message for all of the Pisces out in the collective. Please note this is going to be a general reading so it will not resonate with every single Pisces out in the collective. I ask that you take with you what resonates and leave the rest behind. If you are new to my channel, welcome to Eileen Into Spirit. My name is Eileen Rouse. I'm a psychic intuitive and spiritual coach, and I provide you with guidance, wisdom, and inspiration every other week right here on this channel. Let's get into your message, Pisces. All right, Pisces, as you can see, I've got all 12 cards laid out for you. Each one of these cards represents one of the months. So this is going to give us an overview of the energy you will be experiencing in 2022. So starting off with the month of January, Pisces, we have the Queen of Cups. This is great energy. I kind of look at the Queen of Cups as your energy anyway. Um, and I really feel that in the month of January, this is really about you learning to fill your own cup. Um, what I want to point out here is that notice how this queen is looking at this cup. She's admiring um, the cup. Everything that she has envisioned for herself and in her life is being reflected in this cup. And I want to point out here that um, everything that we desire, all of our desires and our emotions get put into this cup. It's really about you recognizing here in the month of January that you're the only one that can be your own fulfillment. Um, it isn't about outside sources filling this cup. It isn't about other individuals filling this cup. It's really about you recognizing your own worth and value and filling your own cup. Moving on to the month of February, Pisces, we have temperance. So this is about transformation. This is about learning to see that every experience, every journey brings you closer and closer to transforming into um, your greatest version of yourself, the who you're meant to become. It's also about um, learning to um, seek the guidance um, from your spirit team, right? It's about that angelic guidance. It's also about patience. Understanding that people don't just transform undernight, overnight, right? Um, nothing, it takes time for you to change a habit or to um, transform into what you are trying to do. I, I want to, I also look at temperance as that journey, that journey that one takes towards um, the dark night of the soul experience. Um, you know, as you climb that mountain of self, you discover that you have so much more to offer um, and you can bring so much more to the surface, but you have to be patient. You have to nurture yourself. You have to provide yourself with the things needed to get you to that point. Okay. Moving on to the month of March, we have the Eight of Pentacles. So I really feel that a lot of you in the month of March are really going to be working on your craft. You're going to be becoming the master of something, whether this is actually picking up a trade of some sort or really working on something that you are very passionate about that brings you, that bring, it's sort of something that is sort of like your hobby that then becomes something you invest a lot of your time and effort and energy into. Um, it's really about working on yourself. Um, it sort of looks to me here, Pisces, that 2022 is really going to be the year of self for you. Um, because that's kind of the one thing that I keep hearing, right? You start off at the Queen of Cups, which is about learning to be your own fulfillment, uh, where you transition into temperance, which is about transforming into that greater version of yourself. And then you transition into the Eight of Pentacles, which is about working on oneself, learning how to master oneself, okay? Then we move on to the month of April, and we have the Ace of Wands in reverse. So this is a new opportunity. Uh, this is a new beginning. Um, wands is really about the passions and the inspirations that we have. Um, this is sort of like a gift being given to you, and I, here's what I want you to understand. This new beginning is about you turning a new leaf. It's about you recognizing that you yourself have to want to change more than you want to stay where you are, okay? 
After the month of April, we move on to May, which is the Hermit. Okay, this is about introspection. It's about that inward journey that we go on um, when we learn to look within ourselves for all of the answers that we seek. This is perfect and beautifully aligned with the Queen of Cups because, again, I said that this is about your own fulfillment, you learning to fill your own cup. You know, a hermit, when, when someone goes into the hermit mode, what they're actually doing is they're relying solely on themselves to provide them with the answers that they desire or the answers that they seek. It's no different than when you're filling your own cup. You're not allowing other people. It's not it's not the things outside of you that make you happy. It's you making you happy. So I really feel that the month of May is really about doing that inward journey, going inward to find the solutions and the answers that you've been seeking. In the month of June, we have the Queen of Wands. This is inspirational energy and confident energy. So I really feel that you're going to be really pulled and moved to want to make that change, whatever change is necessary. And it's going to help you grow. It's going to help you become more confident in who you are, and it's going to allow you to shine your light. Other people are going to witness that, and they're going to want to make necessary changes in their lives, which is amazing, right? When people watch you transform and they see, oh my God, she's so much different, um, he's changed he's he's now someone better um you going through this journey on your own and allowing yourself to just transform before people's eyes is motivating it is inspiring and other people want a piece of that okay then we move into july which is the four of pentacles so this is about feeling secure feeling safe within yourself um, understanding that um, you are provided for, that you have everything that you need, understanding that everything that you need and everything that you desire already resides within you. And I absolutely love that for you here. I'm, I'm clearly seeing this, Pisces, as the year of self. This is the year where you discover who you really are. And I love this. When we move on to the month of August, we have the Two of Wands in reverse. Now, the Two of Wands really speaks about partnerships and new adventures. It's about planning and organizing. But when it's in reverse, it's really about um, us not really wanting to make that change. And I feel that what this is, because you have the Ace of Wands up here and you have the Two of Wands. Now, what I'm kind of seeing here, it's not so much you as it is spirit. And I really feel spirit is intervening on slowing this down for you because they're saying it's just not the right time. They want it to be in in a, in proper alignment, making sure that you're ready for this transition. I'm going to tell you right now, Pisces, because you're going through this year of self and 2022 is a six year. So it truly represents the love that we have for oneself and the love that we have for others. It's the relationship. It's about relationships with oneself and others. And it's also about how, how, in, how much in harmony are we with ourselves and with others. And because this is the year of self for you, Spirit wants you to know that your new beginning of turning over a new leaf and going into this new direction and, and, and building this new life, planning and organizing it, is going to happen at the right time. So recognize that even though these are reversed, it doesn't mean anything bad. What this means is that spirit will, will put you, you're, you're going to be in the right place at the right time. It's just kind of being slowed down a little bit because it needs to be in that perfect divine timing, okay? Now, we move on to the month of September and we have the Nine of Wands, okay? The Nine of Wands really speaks about um, moving beyond our limited perceptions, okay? Because you have the Queen of Cups with the Hermit and the Nine of Wands, this really tells me that you've worked very hard to get to where you are. In the month of September, you're going to acknowledge that you've worked very hard and you sort of are going to feel a little stuck. But I want to point out here that in this Nine of Wands, notice how he has sort of barricaded himself in. This is just a perception. You just believe that you're sort of barricaded in. You just believe that there is no further for you. 
Um, and I want to point out that you have to be willing to to sort of step out of this this little box that you've put yourself in in order for you to recognize that there's so much more that you haven't even experienced yet. Um, so recognize that it's, it's only you that's putting you in that limited space. You have to be willing to take a step outside of that and and go beyond that, okay? Then we move on to the month of October and we have the Four of Wands. Now, this is beautiful. What it's saying here is that when you can step out of your own box, when you can step out of your own comfort zone, when you can see beyond what you believe yourself to achieve or who you see yourself as, you're going to cross this finish line. The Four of Wands is about celebration and success, um, being abundant and prosperous. It's two people at the end of this um, this little threshold here. Um, that's vibrant and green. There's a celebration going on, right? This is about creating that solid, solid foundation for yourself and celebrating your success. I really feel that in the month of October, you're going to feel so accomplished. And this is beautiful because you're going to recognize your own change, um, which is not easy for you to do, Pisces. I want to point out that you seeing your own change and your own success is not something that you could naturally say, I did this, right? Because a lot of times you you tend to fall into that role of a victim. And um, this is beautiful. You're going to acknowledge your own success and you're going to walk across that threshold and say, I did this. I did this all on my own. And this is beautiful. So you step out of that, that box, step out of that comfort zone, see beyond your own perceived limitations in order to celebrate your own journey and your own success. In the month of November, we have the Hanged Man in Reverse. Now, the Hanged Man truly represents us um, allowing ourselves to be illuminated by seeing things in a different way. And when the Hanged Man is in reverse, I really feel that it's, we feel like it's, it's a little difficult for you to see things from a different perspective, but recognize that when you can allow yourself to surrender to to what you perceive yourself to believe, you'll be able to see so much more, okay? I want to be able to describe that to you in a, in a different way, in a much better way, but the only way that I know how to say that to you is when you allow yourself to sort of explore your own beliefs, explore your own perceptions or explore your own thoughts. Um, and you allow yourself to be open-minded and not so closed off into what exists and what does not exist. You'll be amazed at what you might discover. So the hangman is really about surrendering, allowing yourself to be illuminated by something or um, experiencing something in a different way, okay? And finally, for the month of December, we have the Six of Pentacles. I love seeing this here for you, Pisces, because I feel like the last few, the last few months of 2021 for you um, was really about you struggling um, financially, um, not like expending, spending your energy in very, um, wasteful places. Um, I feel that for the month of December for you in 2022 is really about understanding how balanced and where your energy is going. I feel like you recognize who you're going to be spending your energy with and who is not going to be getting any more of your energy. I feel that it's going to be a very reciprocated effort of giving and receiving, and it's a balance of masculine and feminine energy, and I absolutely love this. 2022 is really going to be the year of self where you evolve into that higher essence of who you are, and this is an absolutely beautiful message here, Pisces. Um, I am so thrilled for you. I can see this beautifully played out. Um, I am going to draw an additional card to get an overview message here. So angels, archangels, guides, ascended masters, what is the overview message for Pisces for the year 2022? 
Oh, I love this. We got peace. This is exactly what 2022 is going to be for you here, Pisces. It's going to be that peace that you've been longing for. No longer stressing or worrying. Um, it's really about coming into alignment, um, learning to see yourself with love and care and being your own joy and your own fulfillment and being at peace with yourself. I absolutely love this. This is your message, um, what you can look forward to for 2022, Pisces. I thank you so much for joining me today, and I look forward to seeing you next time with your new message. Namaste, guys.